guys good afternoon today i will discuss a very important and useful topic for every sales and production person this is for your forecasting technique how you will forecast your data for future what amount and what quantity you are going to sales for your sales target and for your production target so based on the forecast you can make your aggregate plan make your inventory make your stock and production unit as well as you can hire more employees so let's start the forecasting so mainly forecasting approaches is quantity method and quality method quantity method and quality method i already discussed in my previous video so you know consist mainly subjective input which of and precise numerical description quantity method involve the extension of historical data and quality method is there is no historical data this is the human factor personal opinion is involved in the quality math technique but when using the quality technique the quality technique use there have no several historical data and the time is very short that time you can use your quality technique otherwise historical data method is very good but which process you can use for your forecasting there see you can uh see the type of the forecasting forecast based on judgment and opinion forecast based on time series and historical data associative forecast so from this three forecast when you are selecting first one you check your forecast and actual data is correct or not otherwise again you change in your second forecast method and your third forecast method so accordingly you have to trial and error process you have to select your forecast method so forecast based on the judgment and opinion already you can uh, understand the what is the based on judgment it is just for your human opinion and the top level management opinion for your team and coordinator coordinator and subordinator opinion so forecast based on time series data this is depend on the historical data for for example you can take your four and five year historical data the last year every month and every quarterly and also previous every month and quarterly how it's affect the season wise and month wise or your quarter wise so based on the time series data you can see the what type of trend what type of your graphs is showing trend refer to a long term upward and downward you can see seasonality you can understand the seasonality the cycles means one cycle is up and down again it will be up irregular variance there have no such a cycle no such a seasonality irregular variance there have no uh, dependency and no prediction and the random variation are residual variation that mainly after all other behavior have been acquired so you can see here what type of trend if you plotting your data yearly for see here first year one year two year three year four you for example sales value is month of j here february here march here and every year you can see that that time is the some pickup sales is there and this time also pickup sales is there after that it will be down depend on this trend you can forecast your data and one main forecasting technique is the averaging 
averaging technique is generate forecast that reflect a recent value of time series the average value over the last several periods this technique work best when a series of train to vary around the average and although they can also handle step changes and gradually changes in the level of the series that time you can use this average technique method three technique average method i will discuss here one is moving average second is weighted moving average and the main and very important averaging method is exponential smoothing method so one by one i will discuss with a simple example so moving average method you can how you will do moving average method normally last three years you can find out moving average method for example for for a year period 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 5 4 2 3 and the demand is 42 40 43 40 and 41 so forecast is here 6 for period 5 and period 5 i want to uh, uh, make uh, the forecast 6 six period by moving average so how you will do for making the moving average you can see last three data this 41 40 and 43 data you have to average it so 41 plus 40 plus 43 divided by 3 so 41.33 this is the your forecast value for period 6 and what will be the period 7 what is the period 7 is your now f6 is 40 so 40 41 and your 39 if you period is forecast is your 41 point something but actual demand you got 39 here forecast f6 39 that's 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 why this is last 3 years is 39 41 40 the by 3 so if 7 period 7 forecast value will be 40 and after completing the point period 7 you see the what will be your actual data then you will write here again last 3 years or last 3 periods you can average it so next is weighted moving average weighted moving average as similar to the moving average there have no changes just you have to average the four value 1 2 3 4 value and you have to give the more weighted for recent period for last period for example i will i want to make forecast 6 period 6 and your demand is 41 40 and 43 so 41 and we will give the more value for recent value so you have to multiply 0.4 percentage and 0.3 you can get this data you just assume or you can get this data in your problem 0.2 into 43 0.1 into 40 so this is you will get your 41 so 41 you get for the period 6 but in period 6 you forecast giving 41 but actual you get 39 that time what you get 39 here so for your forecast 7 is you giving more value for recent value So 39, you got 39 actual. 39 into 0.4, 41, 40, and 43. So your value will be 40.2. So forecast for period seven is 40.2, and then see after completing the forecast period seven how much value will be there. 
so this is very simple and the most important and very sophisticated moving average method is exponential smoothing method so i will explain with example first understand the formula the formula is the actual minus previous forecast see the forecast value this is so you for this data for this moving average method you need actual data for last three months and for also forecast how much you uh, were forecast for last three months also so represent and gamma is percentage of the error and moon consistently for example if t for any data forecasting if t equal to a t minus 1 the period of t minus 1 means forecast last period plus this is the percentage of error actual how much actual how much before last value t minus 1 and forecast how much you forecast so you can understand the the difference of forecast and actual see here you can understand forecast of period t f t minus so forecast of previous period and smoothing constant and actual demand and sales in your problem you can see here smoothing constant see the very easy example the smoothing constant gamma represents a percentage of the forecast error each new forecast is equal to previous forecast plus a percentage of the previous error for example suppose the previous forecast was 42 previous forecast was 42 actual demand was 40 unit so forecast 42 but previous unit you got order 40 so 40 minus 42 and 0.1 your percentage of error so for a t forecast for this period current period is 41.8 but the actual demand turns into 43 your forecast is 41.8 but you got 43 the next forecast would be what the next forecast would be your 41 our previous forecast is 41 41.8 plus 43 minus your previous forecast forecast this is 41.8 show point 0.1 into 43 minus 41 41.92 so you can very easily find out your forecast for forecast your January and for forecast your February. So exponential smoothing you understand and there have another forecasting technique is associative forecasting. Associative forecasting uh, technique as uh, related to identification related variable that can be used to predict value of valuable of the interest for example sales of the beef may related to the price per pound charged for the beef and the price of substitute such as chicken pork and lamb these are the associated if chicken price is very high increase so automatically beef demand will be increased the primary method analysis is no regression a brief overview of the regression should be the piece the brief, uh, thank you thank you for watching hope you understand if you like please subscribe my channel